In today's video, I've got a Lone Star Grill Santa Maria Grill and I do the burn in and first cook? Hey, this is Ricer from Dead Broke Barbecue Wisconsin and welcome back to the channel. But if you're new here, we try to help you enhance and amplify your backyard barbecue fun. Now it's here and it's big. And I wanna thank Lone Star Grills for sending me this 48 inch Santa Maria. It's gonna be fun to start live fire cooking. Now when I sent a couple of my good buddies a picture of me getting that Lone Star Grill, they started teasing me about how hard it was to get out of that crate. But my guess is that Russ and Justin, they don't have any Viking blood because my Norwegian ingenuity took over and I grabbed a Sawzall. Now that crate is big and it is tall, so for all my short little stubby friends out there that waddle around like penguins, you might want to wear a hard hat when you're taking that crate apart. I don't want to see you get hit in the noggin, but seriously, if you own a Sawzall or you have a friend that has one, grab it, get two blades, get the longer metal one, and the longer wood one. It's gonna make taking this crate apart a lot easier and you don't really have to spend a lot of time pulling out those nails. Just cut them straight off. But if you can come across a wrecking bar like this, get it, it's awesome. It can grab a two by four and you can twist it right out. Now I took some of the scrap two by fours and used them as a ramp because this pit's pretty heavy. You don't wanna just push it off the end of that pallet and have those wheels maybe get damaged. So build it up, make a ramp, and lower it off. And my guess, this will work for any of the crates that Lone Star sends out with any of their cookers in it. Now on my 48 inch Santa Maria, I have the rotisserie and this thing is massive. But we're just gonna take it off for right now so we can start going through the rest of it. Now this thing is so massive and well built, I think I could go out and start spearing my protein. We're really gonna go caveman style. Now a couple other little add-ons that they sent me is that we have the Argentina style grill grates. That way, you're cooking, your grease runs into this little trough. You can use it again if you want to base something. Or it just helps the grease run into this trough and you won't get as many flare-ups. And we also have the La Plancha. Or as us Norwegians call it, La Grito. And you can start pushing some iron. I'm gonna lift brisket later. Now this is the stainless steel trough that's gonna help catch that grease for those Argentina style grill grates. And then finally we get to the half inch carbon steel grill grates. This is where the biggest upgrade comes from the previous model. The old style was just expanded metal, kind of like what we have on the bottom for our charcoal grates. Now another thing that you can get is a bracero. And that'll hang on either side. You can put it over here and that's where you'll start your wood and you just start scooping out the coals and throw it in. One option that I really think is a must is that you, the door on the front. You can go ahead and adjust your charcoal so if you're cooking at this level, you can just open this up and adjust it a little bit and that'll help you even out the cooking temps across the whole grate. And on the bottom of the rack, you have a nice little area where you can store some of your wood or your preferred charcoal. And you also have a nice little pan on the bottom for your ash cleanup. And then it's got a nice little wheel to go ahead and raise it, lower it or whatever you gotta do. And it's got a brake to hold it and lock it in place. Now this next part is crucial and you wanna make sure that you do it and do it right. Now I used about 16 pounds of charcoal to go ahead and cure this paint. Number one, I used briquettes because they don't burn as hot as lump. And number two, they last a little bit longer. Now the main purpose is that you're curing this paint and you want to do it at a lower temperature for a longer period of time. And you might actually smell kind of a chemical in the air when that paint starts to cure. That's normal. If you ever cured paint before, it's kind of giving off a smell. But just make sure that that paint is cured before you go ahead and put any on the outside because you're gonna have some issues. And do not have too big of a fire because that paint will start to bubble and start chipping off. It can be fixed, but it sucks. And those charcoal briquettes ran for about four to four and a half hours. And once they were all cooled down, I just went ahead and started cleaning out all the ash, took out the expanded metal, scraped it right down into that ash pan, and then I started up the Santa Maria to do its first cook. I used some briquettes and some lump and once it started to ash over, I threw in a few splits of red oak. I used red oak because that's what I got. It's what's around me. I got plenty of it. I got that fire pretty hot. She's toasty, 
but I cooked up some chicken wings, chicken quarters, and chicken breasts at first. And this really wasn't about the cook, it was just about cooking. I wanted to grill, I wanted to get this thing to produce some protein. And if you've been watching me long enough, you know that I like a little bit of char on my chicken, especially if it's got any skin on it. But for the most part, the wings turned out great. I had a couple of them that didn't get done as much, but I really wasn't watching the cook. I was just actually trying to get used to the environment of the live fire. But my wife said that those chicken quarters were the best ones I've made in years. Thanks, honey. Just because we had them in the fridge, my boys grabbed some New York strip steaks and seasoned them up and I put them on there at the end of the cook also. Now I will say that they turned out a perfect medium rare, but I didn't get much of a sear on them because well, I didn't want to add any more charcoal to it. But for my first cook on the Lone Star Grill's 48 inch Santa Maria, it turned out fantastic. There certainly is a lot more flavor in wood fire. One thing that I would suggest to all of you if you're gonna keep it outside is that after you're done eating and it's cooled down, get that ash out of there. I went ahead and sprayed down my inside. It's gonna stay in my garage, so it's not gonna see a lot of weather, but if you have to keep it outside, you wanna get that ash out because that does enhance the rust part of it. You certainly wanna clean up those carbon steel grates and give them a, just a little bit of touch of that Pam and canola oil also. That way the next time you use them, they're ready and they're looking pristine. And again, I wanna thank Chris for sending me the Santa Maria because this certainly is gonna make me a better cook. Because my wife doesn't like it when I burn shit. <laughs> and in my opinion, this is the best way to learn how to be a better cook. Cook with some live fire. It's right there and it's hot and it burns your arms a little bit, so be careful. And for all you people that follow me up here in God's country, if you're looking for a Santa Maria for yourself, make sure you check the links below because this thing is American made and it's all 100% quality. Oh yeah, my wife was so nervous when I lit this thing up in here. She's like, I ain't putting my cell phone down until you're done cooking chicken. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and become a subscriber. Turn on that notification bell because you don't want to miss my next video. It's probably going to be a rotisserie cook. Mm -hmm. But I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. Man, this pit is solid and it's thick. It's kind of like me. I'm thick and solid. I'm hard to move. This isn't that hard to move though because it's got really nice wheels on it. For all you people that follow me up here in God's country, if you're looking for a Santa Maria, make sure that you check the links below because this thing is built by Americans for America. Proud to be America. American made. That's right. America. I want to be a fire starter. You can